In this tutorial, you will learn how to make stencil from photo in just a few easy steps. So, by following this convert photo to stencil Photoshop tutorial, you will be able to turn pictures into stencils quickly. Let's start with the most important step. First, you have to download the stencil action. In the description of this video, you will find the download link for the stencil maker from photo. After downloading the file, you will see that the stencil effect Photoshop action has included three seamless wall backgrounds and a set of six spray paint Photoshop brushes. Let's unzip the files and make sure they're in a folder you know. After that, let's install the ATN file into Photoshop. To do this, go to the very top here and then click Window. If the Actions option is unchecked, click it to be able to access the Action window with a triangle icon over here. After that, click the small button with four lines on the upper right and then load Actions. Head over to the folder your unzipped files are in and choose the ATN file. If you scroll all the way down, you should now be able to see a folder titled Stencil by PSD Dude. Next, we have the installation of the ABR file. The ABR file is for the brushes. Click your brush tool, click the drop down option up here where you usually choose what type of brush you want then the cogwheel, and then import brushes. Once again, if you're not there already, go to the folder where the unzipped files are and choose the ABR file available. Scrolling down, you will see a folder of brushes entitled Spray-Brushes. Let's start and I will show you how to use the stencil Photoshop action to create a graffiti stencil in Banksy style like this one. Then you will be able to create a graffiti stencil portrait using your own pictures. We're first going to open the photo we want to turn into a graffiti stencil portrait. After that, open the actions window, then the folder named stencil by PSD Dude then click the first item with the same name. Click the play button right underneath this. A message will appear afterwards that says number one, paint over the area that you want to turn to stencil. Number two, resume play from where it stopped. Click the stop button. With the brush tool, let's draw this person's silhouette. After that, like the message said, we can press the play button again to continue the action. When we do, there will be a levels window that will appear. Adjust the contrast to your liking. Take note, most of the midtones or grays will disappear. When done, click OK. Another message that says number one. Place the background image, file place embedded, number 2, resume play, will appear. Press stop and then let's do exactly what the message said to do. Go to file, place embedded, and then choose a background photo. These ones we have are seamless wall backgrounds, which means that even if we repeat the wall texture, it will not have any seams, as you can see. If you decide to tile your background layers, make sure that you merge those layers together. You can do that by clicking one layer, pressing and holding Ctrl, and clicking the next layer or other layers that will contain your background, then right-clicking on the layer and clicking Merge Layers. This is important for customization purposes later on. After that, let's click the play button again. Now, 
another levels window appears. Adjusting it will make the art look more or less faded. When you're done changing the levels however you see fit, click OK. Then the last message appears. End of action. This message also says that we can use the spray brushes inside the spray brush layer or stencil art by PSD Dude layer. Before we get to that, let's try out some other tricks. The first trick is that we can actually change the color of the graffiti. The stencil effect layer is actually a gradient map adjustment, so left click on the layer once and then check the properties panel. If this is not available to you, or if you cannot find it, go to window up here and then properties. You can click on the gradient itself here and then choose the available presets. Of course, you can also make your own gradient by double clicking on these tiny squares, choosing a color, and then dragging them wherever you want. This will adjust the colors of your gradient, how smooth they transition, how much of the color is present, and whether they're in the highlights, midtones, or shadows. For now, let's stick to black and white. Aside from adjusting the drawing itself, we can also adjust the background. This layer down here says Background Color Adjustment. Clicking on it once will show you options to customize this, whether it's the U, saturation, or lightness. I want to make it more faded, so I'll go ahead and desaturate the wall background. Finally, let's add a little more authenticity style, and dynamics to the art by making the paint look more real. We do this by showing the paint was once liquid, through adding splashes from the sprays. Let's go to the spray brush layer. Remember the brushes we imported earlier? Go to the brush tool, click the drop down icon up here, go to the very bottom, and open the Spray Brushes folder. Let's choose a brush, pick a color from the graffiti art by holding Alt and clicking an area, and then get to work. Paint usually drips when you have a lot of it in a spot, so we can also go for the more solid areas. You can also use this to add more texture to your background and a little style to the overall picture. Now you know how to use the Photoshop Stencil Maker to create a stencil effect in Photoshop. If you want to create a Banksy stencil printable, then this action is great for you. Use this action to create a spray effect in Photoshop or a Photoshop graffiti effect quite easily and with great results. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.